Individuals are trying to blockade our economy, our democracy, and our fellow citizens' daily lives. It has to stop. Justin Trudeau's divisive and dismissive tone when it comes to the pandemic and those who oppose him. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist with the Toronto Sun. Now, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said that he wants the convoy to stop. I'm sure absolutely everybody in Ottawa does. And, well, I've called for it to be dismantled. I've called for protesters to go home. But unlike Trudeau, I've also called for rail blockades and pipeline blockades to be shut down, dismantled, and for those protesters to go home. Those ones he supports. The trucking convoy protest in Ottawa, he doesn't. Well, Trudeau has a problem on his hands now, because not only has this trucking protest spread, it's now hit the Ambassador Bridge, the bridge that carries about 27% of all of our cross-border trade with the Americans, but it's also hit within his own Liberal Party. Quebec Liberal MP Joel Lightbound, a, a man long associated with Trudeau in, in his McGill clique, his Quebec clique, his Montreal group, well, he's come out and said that the Prime Minister and the Liberal Party have been playing politics with things like vaccine mandates, with things like vaccine passports, and their whole tone and attitude towards dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. During a news conference on Tuesday, Lightbound's Remarks and suggestions were both shocking and refreshing. They could have been lifted directly from one of my columns. He pointed to the harms that COVID-19 measures taken by various levels of government have inflicted upon the Canadian po uh, population, and he called for their timely removal. He admitted he's not an epidemiologist, he's not a medical scientist, but said that when we look at what other countries are doing, the current government's tone and plan of action don't make sense. It's going to be very difficult for Trudeau to react like he always does and dismiss Lightbound, as well as those now protesting at the Ambassador Bridge in Windsor and elsewhere as just racists, because that's what he always does. He turns around and he dismisses anyone who disagrees with them in the worst possible terms. It's what he did during the emergency debate in the House of Commons. The people of Ottawa don't deserve to be harassed in their own neighbourhoods. They don't deserve to be confronted with the inherent violence of a swastika flying on a street corner or a Confederate flag. That's not good enough because it's not engaging with the facts on the ground. It's not engaging with people who are saying, look, you've got it wrong. Justin Trudeau was a man who was willing to reach out and say that we needed to have discourse when farmers in India were protesting, violently, I might add. But when Canadians are protesting. He wants nothing to do with them other than to attack them, divide, and, as Lightbound himself said, use wedge politics. It's time for this to end. It's time for Canadians to unite, to come together. The problem is, I don't think Justin Trudeau is the man for that job. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share your thoughts on social media along with this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.